No, a lot of people have been getting together. Maybe some of you have done this to have parties. Uh, to watch a World Cup game, sometimes really early in the morning because of the time difference. That's actually when most of the parties have to happen. Well, um, I heard about everyone having these parties, and I wanted to get in on all the excitement and have a party of my own. So I threw a World Cup soccer party, and uh, I thought it'd be really cool to invite uh, Max and Joel, our announcer, uh, over to my apartment to watch the Brazil versus Turkey game. And uh, we took a lot of pictures while this party was going on. And I just got the, uh, the pictures back and, uh, from the developers, and I thought, you want to see these? This is a cool party. And I thought, okay, this is good. Uh, this is fun. I, I woke up at uh, 7 o'clock in the morning. I was, I was pretty tired. Uh, I was drooling. Uh, Max showed up. He was also pretty tired. Um, I showed Max I was rooting for Brazil. Max showed me he was rooting for Turkey. I said, wow, how funny, a turkey rooting for turkey. <laughs> Max was too tired to get mad. I was too tired to laugh. And uh, we both fell back asleep standing up. Uh, we woke up, there was a knock on the door, and it got us up. You can... Uh, <laughs> and, uh... Yeah, that's a good camera. Uh, it's digital. Uh, anyway, it was our announcer, Joel Goddard. He showed up. Yeah, he was, there he is. He was happy. Max and I asked Joel what team he was rooting for. Joel said he was rooting for the New England Patriots. Max explained to Joel that we weren't going to watch American football, that we were watching World Cup. So Joel decided to root for the USA. I explained to Joel that the USA had already been eliminated from the tournament. So Joel decided to root for nobody. <laughs> Saving that one. Uh... So anyway, I gave Joel one of my favorite t-shirts to wear because I wasn't, I wasn't going to be looking at that all night. And the, uh, the t-shirt fit him perfectly, uh, which was nice. <laughs> now, since the game started so early in the morning, we decided to eat breakfast before the kickoff. Joel brought coffee, Max brought the bagels, and I filled an old soccer ball with cream cheese. <laughs> now, in order to wake up, we started drinking coffee. I mean, we drank a lot of coffee. <laughs> and so, naturally, we all got pretty wired. I've actually seen that painting in a motel. Uh, now, uh, now, Max must have been really wired because he kicked the cream cheese. And it landed on Joel's head. Now, to take the edge off the coffee, we immediately started drinking beer. I mean, we drank, we drank a lot of beer. I'm talking a whole lot of beer. And uh, by, the, uh, by the time the game started, I was pretty drunk, I got to admit. <laughs> yeah, Max, uh, Max was so drunk, he kicked Joel's head thinking it was a soccer ball. And Joel was so drunk, he didn't even care. The game started. I got really excited when Brazil scored a goal. Or did I do an Irish jig? I don't know which one. Either way, I was happy. Joel helped Max and I reenact the play. That was a lot of fun. <laughs> then I reenacted the Yorick scene from Hamlet. <laughs> then we all reenacted the Hindenburg disaster. Those were good times. <laughs> oh, I can't believe that really happened. <laughs> Suddenly, we, we remembered it was time to watch our favorite show, SpongeBob SquarePants. <laughs> We actually got so caught up with Spongebob, we missed the rest of the game. <laughs> then suddenly, there was another knock at the door. It was my paper boy, Steve Perry of Journey. <laughs> That's 
what he's doing now. I said, hey, Steve, there's something about your career in the paper today. It's in the obituaries. <laughs> yeah, so Steve Perry uh, made me eat the newspaper. <laughs> Max then said I deserved it for talking that way to the legendary Steve Perry. <laughs> then Max said Steve was not only his friend, but the best bassist foreigner ever had. <laughs> Which got Steve mad, so he made Max eat a newspaper, too. <laughs> Suddenly, we realized we'd missed the end of the game. <laughs> I hadn't seen that at the end of any games, but anyway. <laughs> Even worse, we'd missed the end of SpongeBob SquarePants. <laughs> but nobody really seemed to care. We got to spend the morning together, and that's all that really mattered. Wasn't that happy? <laughs> Curry's a good guy a good time. All right, well, tell everybody, we come back. He's way too young to be handling these animals. Jared Miller will be here, and people are going to get hurt. Summer in Dublin, Ohio, where you can count on two things, mosquitoes and garage sales. You know that's one of a kind. Half the town is buying. This must be one of a kind. And the other half is selling. It's one of a kind. And with the money we save, we go to Wendy's for the super value menu. Everything is just 99 cents. Junior bacon cheeseburgers, made Dave's way, cold drinks, hot fries. It's the best 99 cents you can spend. One of a kind. The super value menu at Wendy's. It's better here. And remember, you can eat great even late. Turn right here. Excuse me. Do you know where the art museum is? It's two blocks up. Thank you. You're into art? Oh, oh yeah. Sculpture, mostly. I mean, uh, I like paintings too, but... 2002 Mitsubishi Galant. She was helpful. Right now, pay zero down, zero interest, and zero payments for an entire year. Silver Premium Malt Beverage. 5% alcohol by volume. Year night just got more interesting. Woo! Yay! Woo! How's it hanging? Need to make a click call? Just use 1 800 call ATT. Hey, we're training here? Hey, well, then train your finger to dial down the center with 1 800 C A L L A T T. It's free for you and cheap for them. Mountain Patrol, dude. Whoa! Perfect. Hey, what do you say? You and I go get some hot cocoa. Come on. Take me with you. Do you my girlfriend? Please. Save on every call. Use 1-800-CALL-ATT for collect calls. Hey, help me! Don't leave me hanging! It's the repo sale at Toyota of Dallas. With over 300 late model repos, lease defaults, and factory buybacks starting at just $49.95. Choose from Toyotas, Cadillacs, Nissans, and more. Like a 1999 Toyota Camry, $13,995? No way! $10,995? Forget about it! Only $79.95! You pay just $39 and start making payments. Plus 2.9% financing is available. Sale in Saturday night only at T.O.D. 